Hello everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at this Mubview battery security camera. It is the ZS-GXS7X. This is the indoor version of this camera. I reviewed this camera October 24th of 2023. Now this camera I keep in the backyard because we like to watch the raccoons and stuff. <clears throat> this camera, <clears throat> like I said, I reviewed it October 24th of 2023, and I just had to charge it up last week. I think it was um, around January 15th, I think it was, I charged this up. So uh, the batteries on these things are amazing. But today we're going to be talking about this one. This is the indoor security camera. We're going to open this up. I have been trying it out for a couple days, but I wanted to show you everything that you get in the box, which you get your booklet. And this booklet tells you everything that you need to know about the app. I'll show you some things about the app. Um, this is a double-sided sticky in case you don't want to put screws in the wall or it's got a protective cover. Like I said, I've been trying this out. There's the mount. You can hang it right there. This is the USB charging port. It is the USB-C. See? <laughs> okay, it comes with a couple of screws and a couple anchors if you're going into drywall or whatnot. Okay, so <clears throat> like I said, here's the unit. Pops off. There's some information on the bottom of it. This is just your mount, which does all kinds of stuff. So you can practically mount this thing anywhere. It's small, it's nice and tiny. I like that. Here's my cell phone for comparison, just a normal everyday cell phone. So as you can see, this one is tiny as well, but this one being indoors, it's a lot tinier. I'll go over some of the things in the book with you and then we'll move on to the app and I'll show you what the clarity and everything of the cameras like. You got your table of contents. Um, this one, I was having some trouble with it a couple weeks after I had it. It wasn't picking up movement and I got a hold of the company and they will respond to you immediately. The issue that I was having with that was the sensitivity. Um, so I changed the sensitivity and they up, updated the app on it and it's been working fine ever since. You can rest assured that they, they will help, help you with any, any questions you may have, any concerns, and they'll try to help you diagnose any problems you may have. You got this on Google Play and you also have it on the App Store. So this is for Apple or Android. It is uh, for 2.4 Wi-Fi. This thing is easy to pair. It's easy to pick up on the Wi-Fi. There's a bunch of different things there. I'll show you on the app itself. It'll be up on the screen so you can easily see. There's some things here if you want to scan those and check those out if you're interested in this product. Okay, so we are screen recording right now. So we're going to bring up our app here this is real time so I was standing in the garage now we're going to walk over here in front of the camera and I'm standing in front of the camera right now so there's not much lag time so now if you want to turn your phone sideways, you can turn it sideways, 
you've got your HD button here you can go to auto you can go to standard definition or high definition so we are going to go to high definition or you can have it automatic and there's high definition now we're going to turn this up this way also you can with both fingers I'm a little shaky with my fingers but you can zoom in or out this camera you can have it record 24 7 if you want but you know you might want to have it plugged in if you're going to do that it does support a 128 gigabyte card also you do have cloud storage if you want to pay for cloud storage now I'm going to go in here so we don't get a lot of feedback but we're going to push hold to talk just like that also here's your motion detection I have it turned off because I am walking around this will be turned off unless we go somewhere if we go somewhere then we'll turn it on uh, it's mostly for Bruno so we can talk to him while we are gone let's see here we can record right now we're recording what you're seeing on the camera right now if you can see that little record light blinking on the bottom Now we stopped and as you can see over here if I click on that there's what we just recorded okay so now you can go to other there we go settings you've got receive alert notifications I have that turned on you've got your image settings that screen flip is in case you have to have mount that camera upside down you hit the screen flip and it'll automatically flip the screen for you you can share this device with other people in your family <clears throat> and then you have installation guide you have location management your work indicator light that is the light that is on the camera You've got your sound settings right here, and I will turn the speaker volume all the way up. I have everything else turned on. Video encryption. You've got battery management. We are 80%, and like I said, I've been using this for about four days. Your recording management. You can format. You can video switch. You've, here's your cloud services there you you can contact them you can phone them you can email them and you can check your version and I am all the way updated it tells you the current version you're running and the latest version so I am up to date on that very nice if you turn motion detection on you've got your sensitivity you've got automatic sensitivity which if let's say a bug is flying around your camera or something it will start bringing the detection sensitivity down for you so you're not at work and you're getting all kinds of messages or your dog is running around so let's turn this all the way up and I'll show you now we're gonna go back here see so you've got your power saving mode your performance mode always on mode I've got it on the custom mode right here Humanoid detection sensitivity. Let's turn that up. And recording time, you got 10 seconds, 20 seconds, and 30 seconds. Let's put it on 30 seconds. And the alarm interval, you can have the alarm go off and the alarm will stay on for, say, see, it just picked us up. 
it can it will stay on for two minutes five minutes or ten minutes so let's just go to two minutes now let's go back this is your alert plan you can set a time period if you only want it to record say from midnight till five o'clock a.m. you can set it here you just hit the add time period and I'm not going to worry about that right now so let's go back and as you can see the top one is the outside camera so you can run multiple cameras with this this is let's see what it picked up it picked us up right there the other ones you see there is when I was setting the camera up and we hit that button there and it will bring up that's what we was that's what it's picking up okay so all right hang on a second guys okay so I am going to turn my motion detection off so it's not going off all the time come on in so as you can see she just got home so very nice okay now I'm going to bring you back with my final thoughts on this product okay so overview I forgot to show you the siren hit the siren button hit OK and there's the siren it's very loud <laughs> so but yeah this is it's a very nice camera for uh, it's it's very reasonable very reasonable camera and what I like is that you can have multiple cameras on the same app also the link for this device and the indoor outdoor one that we have out back the links for these devices will be in the description and also there will be a 10% discount code in that link as well you enter that code and you'll get a discount through me right now both cameras I will give a four and a half out of five stars this is my rating and a two thumbs up I, I think they're great for the money of course this is not something I've said it before that you're going to want to use as a security system in your fortune 500 company of course then you're going to want to go with a major security system but for home security it's fine um, for animal watching it's fine if you want to keep an eye on your pets and you want to talk to them while you're gone you can do that so yes two thumbs up four and a half stars for both of them uh, battery life five stars ease of access with the app five stars I really like it I love I like both these cameras I do highly recommend this this thing is easy to set up no problems whatsoever the app downloads perfectly fine it's fast the lag time is, is unbelievable how fast it is um, it's every bit as fast as our ring doorbell camera I mean it's what a two second delay for real time that's unbelievable especially for the money you're going to spend you're not going to break the bank getting one of these to um, and you can use it as a baby monitor as well like I said it will it will accept up to a 128 gigabyte card this one you can have 24 hour surveillance you just have to plug it in this one's only going to be recording like I said while we're away we can keep an eye on her mother if her mother needs help uh, we can keep an eye on, on our puppy Bruno he he gets um, excited when we're not here so we can talk to him when we're away it's a great product and I want to thank Mubview for sending this to me and for sending the other one to me I really appreciate it that's what I got for you guys so uh, I am happy to since I have used the other one since October 24th uh, I am happy to give them you know a great review because I we use one that I'll back all the time we, we've got coons and we've got possums and we've got squirrels and we've got birds and, and monkey likes to watch 
watch those videos so she likes to watch them at night when we get get a notification that something's out there she wants to that way she can come out and look out the window and see them in person too and we can record that so there you guys go that's all i got for you thanks for watching thanks to my view please go check them out link in the description discount code will be there as well thanks again guys bye bye and take care